Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, uh, Sin City Preacher, and I think I'm going to call this video um, How to Use YouTube Without Going Crazy. <laughs> well, I joined YouTube uh, June 23rd, 2008, and today is uh, March 29th, 2012. So I guess that's about uh, almost four years ago. And I'm, I want you to know, I would not have lasted for four years on YouTube if I didn't learn how to cope with this. Because it can drive you crazy. It can make you angry. It can depress you. It can break your heart. So you, you really need to, to learn how to cope with um, all these interactions you have on YouTube uh, in a way that is, you know, you can stay mentally healthy. Uh, but I want to really encourage uh, everyone to, um, to make the effort to hang in there because I believe YouTube is a great tool, a great opportunity for those of us who want to have a, a Christian ministry on the Internet. Now, I know that we could make a list of our complaints against YouTube. I can't tell you how many times I've been upset with them when they, they change a, a format or, and you've got to adjust to it. And uh, The most recent one has made some people upset. And, but we have to keep in mind what a blessing and opportunity YouTube really is for us. So we need to kind of go with the flow, adjust when necessary, and don't get discouraged and give up because the, uh, the opportunity is so great. We need to take advantage of it. Uh, not only can we reach people all over the world, uh, sometimes your views have uh, your, your videos do not have a lot of views. Sometimes a video will get many views, and you, those people never would have been reached if you if you didn't take advantage of this uh, technology. So, one of the things that also excites me about YouTube is I, I'm 61 years old. Now. I might leave my body tonight to be with the Lord, maybe 10 or 20 years from now, I don't know. But I do know that when I leave this world to go be with my great Savior God, Jesus Christ, in heaven, when that happens, the videos I made will remain, hopefully, unless uh, the Antichrist comes in and bans it all, but... but um, Discounting that for a moment, even after we die and leave this world, the work we do on YouTube can remain and continue ministering and witnessing to people for many years, long after we're gone. So to me, uh, the, the great opportunity we have here is, is so wonderful that it is worth learning how to cope with it and deal with the negative aspects of YouTube. Uh, because I, I, I have been suffered a, a great loss time after time when I have found a YouTuber that is doing a fantastic job and then they end up leaving. Uh, I'm going to Normally, I don't like to, to read during my videos, but I'm going to read a letter I sent to um, a YouTube channel. Um, the, the, the name of the channel was uh, Stand for the Faith. And I sent this video out probably a couple of years ago. At least one year, maybe two years ago. This sister was doing an outstanding job teaching and uh, witnessing on YouTube. And it just so happened that, uh, you know, I, I thought she was right uh, almost all the time. I mean, I, I don't meet anybody on YouTube or anywhere else 
where we are going to theologically agree 100% on everything. But I thought she was doing great teaching. Her doctrines were great. She was doing a wonderful job. Uh, and she's no longer here. Stand for the faith. And I could go on, I could give you a half dozen names of channels that I've become very attached to. I formed a relationship with them. I love their videos. I love what they're doing. I tried to encourage them and support them, and they're gone. So I'm just going to read this letter I sent to this sister. Uh, and uh, sadly, uh, my letter failed, I guess, because she, she was not able to uh, endure and, and put up with YouTube. But this little letter I, I sent her, and I, I hope that this message will get through to the rest of you out there if you're discouraged and YouTube is, is really getting the best of you. <clears throat> the email I sent her says, Hello, sister. I joined YouTube June 23rd, 2008. The first six months were hell. I had the entire atheist community coming against me. I battled back and forth with videos, challenges, comments, counter comments, etc. Eventually, it wore me out. I got very frustrated. Then I changed my strategy for dealing with YouTube. Now, my videos allow comments from friends only until I look at the comment and approve it or trash it. If friends make bad comments, then they get unfriended. I often will simply ignore bad comments from people, and after they get ignored, they usually go away. If they persist, then I block them. I don't allow heretical or hateful comments to even appear on my videos. But what about freedom of speech, they say? Well, they are free to express their opinions and beliefs on their own channel. But I will not allow my channel to be used to promote lies. As you know, I am a street preacher. I have encountered many verbal attacks from people over the years. I have learned to just remain silent until they get finished with their hateful tirades. Then they go away, and I never see them again. When I present the gospel, I present it as a gift. As far as I'm concerned, they can either take it or leave it. I use YouTube videos in the same way. I express my viewpoints for their consideration. Some will learn, some will agree, and some will argue. I do not participate in debates. I made my videos to express my beliefs, so I just refer them to the appropriate video if they need an answer. I have also encountered many people who have sincere questions, ears to hear. Some of those people have been converted, hallelujah, such as atheists, religionists, cultists, and others. I only subscribe to people who have passed my screening process. I send them my video introducing Sin City Preacher. I ask them if they agree with my statement of faith. If I feel certain that they do agree, then I subscribe to them. Some of them do not even produce their own videos. I sub them because I want to be associated with other true grace believers. I feel good about recommending all the channels that I have subbed. So, that list serves as a collection, a, a body, a fellowship of common believers. People who are not, uh, people who are relying on Christ for salvation, 
not religion or personal merit. That is my methodology on YouTube. It has evolved over time. It had to evolve because I had to learn how to cope with the craziness. I am glad I did stick with it because it is a great blessing to me. <laughs> and I have made many friends like you. Maybe you need to take a breather. Then I hope you will reevaluate everything. Regardless of what you decide to do, I love you with a holy love. You are in my prayers every day. You are one of the very best teachers on YouTube. Your theology is great. I find no fault in it. You are also very smart and you will learn from these experiences. Most important of all, I hope you do not quit YouTube. If you do, then I hope at least you will not close your account. That way your videos will remain up and the videos will continue to speak for you. Maybe you should just take a more leisurely approach and don't work at it at such a hectic pace. Well, that was my letter a year or two ago to the sister who had the channel Stand for the Faith. Sadly, she's no longer with us. And I continue encountering uh, YouTubers who have fantastic ministries here on YouTube and they're getting depressed and discouraged. So these are the, the ways that I have learned to cope with it all. And by, by using those methods, uh, I can endure through it, and it's much more of a blessing, even though every once in a while, like, you know, there, someone will make a, a, a video attacking me or, or do some, some comments uh, that, uh, you know, are unflattering. But 99% uh, of my experience in YouTube now is, is positive. Now, I have a, three other videos that I'm going to recommend that I've made in the past that will also be helpful uh, in, in this subject matter. One is uh, faith, the one requirement. Another one is who are the swine. And another one is titled encouragement. So, uh, it appears that... Uh, We've just lost another dear brother who I believe was doing a wonderful job and now he seems to be gone. And so that has uh, prompted me to make this video and I'm hoping that uh, um, this will be helpful to you so that you will not just disappear one day and we never hear from you again and, and then on top of that you even close, <coughs> close the channel so that your videos are no longer available to the world. So be encouraged and, uh, and appreciate the blessings we have with this technology and take advantage of it. And uh, I bless you in the name of our great Savior God. His name is Jesus Christ.